Sounds like All right, I'll give you a little. Welcome to the Dark Times channel. Here we go again, back with another one. And before I get started, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're not new to the channel and you enjoy the content so far on this channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that sub button for me as well. And so let's go ahead and get into it. And so recently, the multi-talented singer slash entertainer Lizzo is being sued by some of her former dancers. And they're alleging that the pop star not only harassed them during their tour by using racial and fat phobic tropes which is ironic to say the least and for one of the articles that i read one of her dancers is a devout christian and she was pressured in amsterdam she was pressured to touch one of the private parts of the female dancers and so this sounds like new age toxic behavior and truth be told this sounds like toxic behavior for any day and time it's not normal to pressure your subordinates or co-workers or anybody for that matter to eat a banana out of somebody else's private parts. That's disgusting. Whatever it is you do in your bedroom or the comfort of your own home or privacy, that's your business. But to get somebody else that works for you to do something like that or to pressure them to do something like that allegedly, it's disgusting. It's disgusting to say the least. And of course, this is all alleged, but where there's smoke, there's usually fire. And so it seems like the writing is on the wall. It seems like Lizzo has served her purpose as the modern day Sarah Bartman, because that's exactly what Lizzo has been. She's been the modern day Sarah Bartman put on display for the people in the dominant society to laugh at as a joke. And as talented as Lizzo is, that's not what her majority all white audience pays to see. That's not what they came for. Because if that was the case, Lizzo wouldn't have to put on a clown outfit in order to sing. She would just sing and people would recognize and acknowledge her and appreciate Lizzo for her voice. But that's not the case. Lizzo has been a freak show. Now, could you imagine an Aretha Franklin wearing some of the outfits that Lizzo has worn? She would have got called out as well. She would have called herself out. And whenever people, especially so-called black males, have called out Lizzo. We've been shamed. It's never been about her weight. It's never been about her body. It had nothing to do with that. It's never been about her talent. Cause like I said before, she's very talented, but it's the side shows that we've had a problem with. And I'll say this, the way the dominant society have done Lizzo, or at least back in the day, how they would do. Sometimes the girl that is extremely overweight is picked to be homecoming queen or prom queen. And it's meant as a joke. And this is something that Lizzo knows herself. She knows exactly what she signed up for. Because make no bones about it. If Lizzo wanted to, she could lose 50 pounds overnight. She has enough financial support where she can hire the best chef, the best personal trainers. And if that's something that proves to be a little bit too hard for her, she's somebody that has the means to take a weight loss shot. Like 90% of the other celebrities around here. And I'm sure she wants to. I'm sure that's something that Lizzo probably wants to do, but I'm sure her handlers or her management team have told her, you better not lose one pound. Because if Lizzo lost 100 pounds, 50 pounds, she would lose more than half of her fan base overnight. And let's be real, the majority of the people that support Lizzo are Caucasian. White people really love Lizzo. You're never gonna see Adele up there playing a flute and twerking. Somebody like Adele, as big as she was, She's gonna perform strictly based on her talent. And so that's why I say Lizzo is the modern day Sarah Bartman. If some of you guys are familiar with the story of Sarah Bartman, it's actually quite sad. Sarah Bartman is somebody that was taken away from her home on false pretenses. And she was shipped around the world as a freak show for people to poke fun at her, put her in all kinds of costumes. And even after Sarah Bartman passed away, they still had her remains on display up until 1976. And so that's why I say Sarah Bartman's story was a very tragic story. And it looks like the Lizzo story is gonna be a somewhat tragic story as well. I doubt to the extent as Sarah Bartman, but she's somebody that it looks like she's on her way to being dismissed. It seems like all of her so-called friends within the entertainment industry are now turning their backs on her. 
But like I said earlier, Lizzo is somebody that is well aware what she signed up for. I remember back in the 90s when Oprah lost all that weight. And people within the black community were happy for Oprah. I can remember people talking about how good she looked, how healthy she looked. And then all of a sudden, Oprah magically gained that weight back. And a lot of people look at that and say, oh, she just backslid and she got off track. No, Oprah was told to gain that weight back because she lost a good portion of her audience when she lost that weight. They don't want to see a black woman looking like Beyonce on daytime TV. Deep down, they want to see a mammy. That's why the mammy back in the day was the one inside the house. That's the only one they felt comfortable with. The mammy wasn't a threat. As long as they were big and black and can cook, they were not a threat. And so that's Lizzo. And so that's how I define real confidence from fake confidence. And so that's why they can't take it. And they have to promote somebody like Lizzo over Beyonce in order to feel good about themselves, to feel comfortable. They did the same thing with Serena Williams back in the day. Serena Williams is somebody that used to get mocked on and off the tennis court. And it's a damn shame what they did to Serena and how they treated Serena. Serena Williams, if you look at her now, she's almost unrecognizable. No matter how much the so-called black man held Serena Williams up as a standard of beauty, it wasn't good enough for her, which makes sense. The majority of her life and the people that surrounded her were spent in European circles. And so she's somebody that really wasn't gonna give a damn about so-called black validation. She was always gonna be looking for European or white validation. So we're going to see how it all plays out as it pertains to Lizzo. We're about to see here pretty soon. And so I think that's going to be a good spot to go ahead and wrap up this particular video. Definitely got some more videos on the way. Definitely be on the lookout for that and make sure you chime in in the comment section. And as usual, peace and chaos.